Evan Blake is an accomplished man, educated in fine art. He's built a career around graphic design and graffiti over the past 22 years. He's also grown up under the thumb of racism. When I grew up in Burlington, man, from day one, people would throw crab apples at my sister and I and call us nigger and call us all kinds of things. It was racism out, like it was just blatant. No one was even hiding it in the early 80s there. Flash forward to this past weekend, Evan is one of 11 international artists invited to the Cambridge International Street Art Festival. I went there and I began to paint my piece on the Saturday morning. And we're right down by where the, there's a main river. The next morning, I get to the wall at about 7.30 in the morning and I realize that somebody wrote F U nigger on my piece. So the immediate response to me was like, wow, this reminds me of being Burlington when I was little. Evan looks over at the other murals. Not one of them has been touched. You feel as though, as the only black graffiti artist at this event, this was definitely targeted towards you. 100%. There's no chance that they're going to hit the one black guy's artwork and leave everybody else's unscathed. The folks at Cambridge asked you to take that off, to yeah. fix it up. Yes. You said no. Why? <sighs> because you have to deal with the consequences of your actions in life. And to cover it up would make it another regular day in Galt. Another day where we can pretend that we're Canadian and we don't have the same issues of racism and, and white prejudice and white privilege and everything else. It's, and, and it's not true. I think you have to be, you need to face the facts. Evan says he has been swamped with thousands of replies to this Facebook post where he calls the vandalism bitter racism. Most have been positive, but it's the negative responses that have puzzled him. People saying, you know, what if another black guy did it? Don't they say that word and put an A on the end? Okay, let's be real. There's no black people there, very few black people there. And they're not going to target the one other black person's piece to put a racist word against him on his artwork um, that, uh, that I'm spewing hatred. They're saying that's spewing hatred. It's, it's unbelievable to me. So you feel as though you some of the backlash that you're getting now is because you sort of dared to call out systemic racism. Yeah, definitely. The veil has been pulled out. A light's been shone on the evil. So at that point, it starts to scurry and scatter and tries to find somewhere to hide. Cover it, cover it, so that we don't have to see what really is here. And police today say they are investigating this as a hate crime. No arrests have been made.